Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment of On the Bench. Today I've got a nice little caddis fly that uh, looks quite simple. It's a very effective pattern. As you can see, you can, it's a buggy little rascal. Very slender. It'll do a good job with cinnamon caddis in my opinion. And uh, let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. To start, I'm going to be using a Togan's uh, number 14 dry fly hook, standard dry fly hook. The um, thread, I'm going to be using some eight uh rusty brown thread. The body is a great material here from Semperfly. It's kapok dubbing in rust color. High floating, 30 times its weight. So perfect for dry flies. Finer than super fine. Uh, it's actually what they used to use for uh, life preservers. And uh, Andy and the crew over at Semperfly have made a lot of nice dubbing out of that. The thorax on this fly, I'm going to be, here's a kind of a blend that I just come up with myself. I've put different colorations in there, kind of a uh, rainbow laser, I call it, but it's got some nice UV highlights in there. It picks up on that, makes some nice little legs on the front. And then the wings, I'm going to be using some jungle cock cape here. And all the wing, the, the tips, these uh, feathers at the back here is going to be one of my wings. So I'll go get me a hook here and get started. It's a pretty easy fly to tie, but something you need to know just to do it properly. Nice we can showcase all these flies on there for you folks. Nice to have you join us too. Just keep following along. Let me take my 8 dot thread here, my rust thread, to dress the shank. And throw in a half hitch. Now this compact dubbing is super super fine. It's but with my rotary vise I can get a you're gonna see the dubbing come off of these fibers. Uh, Andy was just chatting the other day about with the pro team about this. It's really critical to have these this the fibers coming off, nice short fibers, and he said it really makes the um, dubbing a lot more effective. And uh, I sure agree with that because I, I love bug, buggy flies, even if they're dry flies. I can see that really working. And my rotary vise is getting the job done just nicely there. I'm getting a really um, buggy nature to that body. So that's going to really float very well. We don't need no hackle on this fly because of the floating uh, dubbing. Throw another half hitch in there and then I'll go back here. There's some more red tip uh, hackles make good little wings for me here nice color on the cinnamon color too peel a little more off just lay that on top pretty easy make sure that's straight we get our Pull it to size. Looks pretty good. Those fibers you can just kind of pinch them back up. They'll stay up there. Looks good from the bottom too. Good. I had a fly that I used for years. My mink hair caddis was a great uh, little cinnamon caddis pattern too, but you got all these new materials and kapok dubbing to me. I've been waiting to get that. It's uh, it's going to be a real game changer. And then here with the UV and the thorax here for the legs, just a little touch. You're going to get a little buggy. This is some buggy yarn. I just I couldn't even tell you the mix rate off the top. I just I blend my own. I just chop it fine and throw in what I like, get the color I want. Oh. Of course, I did something there, cut off my thread. Make sure the eye of our hook's clean. That's usually in dry fly fishing, that lower light conditions, of course, and then we got the 
your eyes plugged up with cement or something not right, make sure your eyes are clean. Very aggravating when you're fishing dry flies. Get that all up there. There's some fiber sticking out there really super long. I'll trim that off, but other than that, I'm good. It's got a little red. It's got a little everything in there, but it's basically a darker brown, and, and I do like the little touch of the UV in that. So it's a it's a, about as easy as flies you want to tie there for you guys, but um, you come in on the evenings when these caddis are coming back on the on the water after sitting in the bushes all day. Make sure your fishing runs alongside the nice bushes and uh, whatever your favorite stream or river is, and uh, you'll be you'll be into some really some of the best fishing. So we really appreciate you uh, tuning in. I really haven't got no name for this fly. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just it's a little. I'll call it a UV cinnamon caddis. How's that? And uh, Try that out, get it on the water, and let us know how you do with it. I'd like to thank you again for joining the Sport Fishing on the Fly. If you're not a member, make sure you join up. Lots of fly time videos, seminars, giveaways, a lot of, uh, and then you get to see all the new TV shows before anybody else, too. So, thanks again for watching.